welcome to my delecto today we are going to discuss anti androgen drug basically these are sub category of the anti cancer drug in this lecture we will discuss four most important anti androgen drug flutamide nilutamide and zolutamide and bicalutamide so basically we will discuss four most important drug that is flutamide flutamide nilutamide nilutamide bicalutamide bicalutamide and last one is the that is enzalutamide so basically these are four most important anti androgen drugs androgen is basically a hormone the most important androgen hormone is the testosterone that is testosterone okay so these drugs actually work against the androgen that is why these are called anti androgen drugs okay so before we start the mechanism of action of all these four drugs we will revise the types of the tumor basically there are some tumors when they get the hormonal stimulus when they get the hormonal stimulus they start regressing in the presence of the hormonal stimulus but on the other hand there are some tumors when they get the hormonal stimulus then in the presence of the hormonal stimulus they start progressing so if we stop the productions of the or we stop the hormonal stimulus then it's mean that we can stop the progression of this tumor these are basically the hormone dependent tumors that is actually the category of the anti androgen drugs so the most important hormone is the testosterone testo testosterone okay so basically in the body the two most important sources of the productions of the testosterone first one is the testes first one is the testes that is the source of the testosterone okay and next is the adrenal gland so actually here is the kidney and above the kidney you will see the presence of the adrenal gland here is the adrenal gland that is actually the source of the testosterone okay when these testes and the adrenal gland produce the testosterone here is basically the molecules of the testosterone here are basically the different molecule of testosterone okay in the prostate cancer okay here is if you see here that here is the bladder urinary bladder okay that here is the urinary urinary bladder and below below the urinary bladder you will see the prostate gland okay here is basically the prostate gland okay so in the prostate gland cancer testosterone play an important role when the prostate cancer get the stimulus hormonal stimulus in the presence of testosterone then the prostate ca gland cancer or you can say prostate cancer start progressing now we have to stop or we have to blockage the testosterone by acting on the prostate gland so basically prostate gland has receptor for the binding of the testosterone okay basically testosterone bind to the receptor in the prostate gland okay and after binding the prostate gland cancer starts progressing now we have to stop the binding of the testosterone to the receptor or or we can also stop the productions of the testosterone so basically these four drugs that is 
फ्लूटामाइड फ्लूटामाइड नाइल्यूटामाइड बाइकेल्यूटामाइड एंड एंसल्यूटामाइड दीज ड्रग्स एनी वन ऑफ दैम ओके हेयर इज बेसिकली दी इफ आई से दैट इज दी फ्लूटामाइड सो नाउ देर इज ए कॉम्पिटिशन बिटवीन द टेस्टोस्टिडोन एंड दी these drugs anti androgen drugs for the binding to the receptor that are actually present in the prostate gland so in that situation if the if these drugs bind to the receptor that is actually for the testosterone then ultimately the further actions of the testosterone is blocked and ultimately it will helpful in the prostate cancer because now testosterone has no binding site so that's the major role now there is this is actually the competition between the testosterone and the anti androgen drugs that's the most important thing by taking these drugs we also do orchiectomy if i remove the testes by the orchiectomy then what will happen then obviously the source of the production one source of the production of the testosterone has been finished okay but one is remain that is adrenal gland we can't remove the adrenal gland because adrenal gland also perform other function as well so by taking these drugs we can also do the orchiectomy or by taking these drugs we can also use the gonadotropin releasing hormone agonist that is gonadotropin releasing hormone agonist that is actually also used in the uh, cancer prostate cancer like luprolide that we have discussed in the previous lecture so that is actually the main mechanism of the anti androgen drugs okay now i will discuss the adverse effect of the these drug that is the most important is the hot flashes hot flashes is the adverse effect of the anti androgen drugs next is you can see the constipation constipation in this case okay and third one is the nausea nausea is the also the adverse effect of this drug and most important adverse effect is the gynecomastia gynecomastia that is the most important adverse effect enlargement of the breast in case of male because now we are disturbing the productions of the hormone or the actions of the hormone ultimately testosterone is very much important in the case of male now we actually stop the productions of the testosterone or the action of the testosterone then ultimately the male face the gynecomastia enlargement of the breast okay you can also see the liver failure liver failure and that is most important in the most important anti androgen drugs that is the flutamide flutamide okay and you can also see the eye damage or vn damage vn problems by taking the nilutamide nilutamide here are basically the different adverse effect of the anti androgen drugs so this is all about the most important entry androgen drugs that is flutamide nilutamide and zelutamide and bicalutamide so this is all about the anti androgen drug if you still have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much